So excited, guys. I finally got to see my first catfish here at Mermaid Springs. All right, guys. Today we're going to do a wall dive. I'm diving with Paul. Um, 18 dives in. I think this will make my 18th. So I'm really excited. We're going to be able to see some, hopefully see some catfish this time. I haven't seen them yet. He told me there was a lot of fish on this wall dive. So maybe we'll get to see one of the big catfish. It's been raining for the past three days. Hard rain. So same as you as well. We've got to go down, get adjusted. You give me the okay. We're going to leave this platform or the wall and just continue out. Well. Okay. 15 to 20 feet. Mm-hmm. If there's any issues, just let me know. We'll come on. Okay. Questions? Nope.
Certain spots that they like to hide there, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, I know they're docile whenever it's winter time and it's cold. They don't like to move. But that sucker was not scared of nothing, was he? <laughs> I thought we were gonna scare him when we hit that tree. But yeah, it was definitely, definitely a no scare on that one. I don't know, I'd probably say that was, I put my hand up it, uh, up to it. I got a big hand, and that catfish's head was way bigger than my hand. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's gotta be at least, maybe a hundred pound. So whereabouts is that tree from? Right out there in the middle? Right on the other side of the boat. Cool. So we started out here and we rode, swam all the way around, all the way around. Then we were on that ledge right past the boat when we seen that catfish. Cool. I want to see a catfish that big. No, actually, I don't want to see a catfish that big. Well, how cool was that? We finally got to see your catfish. That was. That thing was ginormous. I was gonna touch it, but there's no sense. I just, uh, we got a good view of it. Got a really good close up. It was pretty neat. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna have a lot more dives out here and uh, learning navigation and different types of stuff, so. Thanks again for watching. Y'all have a good day. Keep diving. It's not worth the stop. I probably got a booger hanging out of my nose. Life of a scuba diver. Man, oh man. A catfish was at least, I don't know. I can't really guesstimate. I didn't have a tape measure. I put my hand up in it, and it looked like you looking at my face right now. You see my big old head? Cute. What's going on, guys? So, I want your opinion. What should we do next? What should what what should we go and explore? I want you guys to be the the judge on that. Um, I've I've seen and showed you guys a lot, and I'm getting I'm getting decent at diving, but I'm st I'm still stuck at the quarry until I can afford to get. Um, my equipment and and get it all dialed in to where I can explore other places um, with that being said whatever you guys want to see just just give me a holler on, on, on what you guys want to see want me to do under the water at the Mermaid Springs uh, I want it more personal to you guys I want you guys to be able to control what I do a little bit and we'll have fun with it. Just leave in the description or uh, leave in the comment section below what you would like to see or for me to do. Um, I would love to hear your feedback, the stuff you like, the stuff you don't like. Just give me some feedback on it. And again, if you want to be supportive of the fa uh, of the channel, link in the description. Uh, different different ways you can you can uh, contribute or that you can you can help my channel grow. 